Hello everyone. Ah. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, well, we had a good day yesterday. Um, I wanted to go to the park. Was it, was, was it two days ago? Yeah, today's Monday. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's Sunday. It's after midnight. It's, it, already? Seriously? Yeah. I guess so. Okay, well, it was two days ago. It was on Saturday. Okay. Um, my daughter had a, I got it. Suck in a peppermint, you have to excuse me. Um, my daughter had a friend over, and um, we were all gonna go to the park. And so we went to Percy Quinn State Park um, in Macomb, Mississippi, where we live. And um, what? I'm not afraid of you. Okay, anyway. Actually, so. we went to the park, but the van wouldn't stop, so we just passed it by. No, he had something. Uh, planned he wanted to do something different spontaneous spontaneous and uh he didn't warn me about it and so i figured you know when he passed by the normal park and he was going to the state park you know they have this children's area so i figured yeah he was just going to go to a different park so they could play on some different equipment well he went through and kind of passed all the playground equipment and kept driving and and then he stops at some uh, tennis courts. So me and the kids figured, okay, well, we're going to play tennis, right? Not right. Um, we start, we get out of the van, and he says, okay, everyone, let's take the nature trail. I do recall you saying that you wanted to exercise by walking you know, sometimes, so I figured... Perfect yeah. opportunity. I'm, I'll admit, I'm not too happy with my figure, you know? But hey. So, he figured, I guess, I needed a little exercise, and, you know. He failed to tell me about the sign at the beginning of the nature trail. You passed right by it. You yeah, but I just read didn't read it. I, uh, eight miles. Yeah, so I didn't realize the nature trail was eight miles long. And, uh... So we start walking, you know, it's real pretty, and we come across this awesome bridge, you know, and that's like over the river. And so we're like, oh, wow, you know, and all the kids are peering over, looking to see if they can see any alligators or anything. And, and lo and behold, we see a collapsed bridge. Yeah, this big collapsed bridge, you know. And so we're like, okay. Um, so we keep walking. Sign number one. Sign number one. So we keep walking and all of a sudden we come to this watery area with boards across the water, which was shallow water, but there was boards across the water as to say, walk on the boards, you know. So we say, okay, you know, we got to follow these little orange markers because that's the way you get through the trail. The eight mile nature trail, okay. No, and we went, we started this nature trail at like 1 p.m. No, it was 3.30. Was it that late? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, anyway, we started walking and we, we wade through the water. Well, my poor little um, three-year-old falls in the water. And, you know, so we have to pick him up and he's all mad. He's like, you fell in the water. You know, so we're like, okay, well, you know, we're going to keep going. And, and, and my husband the whole time is thinking, well, we can't get any worse than this. Because I was like, well, maybe we should just turn around, you know. So we keep walking, you know, step over a couple of thorns and, you know, swat a few mosquitoes out of our ears. It's beautiful weather. You can smell honeysuckles everywhere. It's spring. It smells awesome. Um, how long have we been talking? Okay. So we keep going. And uh, what was the next obstacle that we encountered? The big body of water that you fell in. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we come to this next body of water. It has two logs. There's two logs in it. And so we're like, okay, but we've already walked like a mile before we got to this obstacle. So it's not like we were just going to turn around, right? Which we probably really should have, but anyway. So everybody else gets across it fine. Not me. I slip on a log and fall in the water face first. <laughs> um, river water does not taste very good. So anyway, my husband's like, you know, he's starting to get frustrated because he knows we've done got pretty far down the trail and we have to keep going. So he's like, 
would you get up? Or I can't remember what he said. But <laughs> I'm like, here I am. I've fallen in the water and you're yelling at me. What's the matter with you? So I get up. I'm wearing a skirt, by the way, and my tennis shoes, which I got to see if I can wash them. I think they might be totally ruined. I don't know. But anyway, we keep walking. And um, then we come across another obstacle. There's this little like board bridge well it's more like just two boards all the way across the river going across part of the river so we all decide we're well it's wide enough we're just gonna go ahead and balance it of course me you know I, I'm not too comfortable with my balance and so I'm like freaking out the whole way across and halfway closing my eyes and everything and then we realize that the little board bridge is infested with ants okay so we're all getting eaten with ants all the way across this board bridge trying to keep from falling off so anyway we get cry my, my husband by the way is having to carry the baby stroller the whole way because we brought an umbrella stroller I mean we didn't realize I mean it's a nature trail most nature trails you go on are like little bitty like they're passed through the woods. They're not eight miles long. And they're like really pretty and they might have a few leaves on them. Some of them are even paved. Not in Mississippi. Nope. So we keep going. Come across a few big puddles um, because it had rained and the, and the river had kind of overflowed a little bit. I slip near about break both of my legs. And so that kind of freaks my husband out. Um, but I get up and we managed to go on. Um, the girls, my daughter and uh, her friend, lost their flip-flops in the mud. So I had to carry my daughter quite a ways and I had to carry my, um, my three-year-old quite a ways. But I mean, we, at that point, we were halfway through the trail. And if we had turned around, it's a great possibility that we would have gotten lost. And it was getting, the sun was starting to go down. So I'm like, you know, this wouldn't be so bad if the terrain wasn't as rough as it was. You know, I was trying to have fun with it because I was like, this is kind of cool. You know, I'm conquering fears that I've never done before. And, you know, the fear of heights, um, the fear of bears, um, the fear of dark, uh, you know, stuff like that. So we come after I just just right after I mentioned the fact about the terrain, I look up ahead of me and there's a huge embankment. And then also, this is right after my husband mentions, um, you know, next summer we should try out rock climbing. So now we have to climb up this huge embankment, go over three, three or four more of the puddles, way through the mud where we're having to pull our feet out of the mud, where I mentioned this new sport called mud walking. There's mud riding, you know, I figured, you know, mud walking, whatever. So anyway... Finally, after an hour and a half more of walking and the sun's about to come down, my husband goes, call. oh yeah, we get a phone call from my friend. And she's wanting um, my husband to come look at her computer. And he's like, well, you know what? If I get out of the woods in time, I'll come look at it. <laughs> so he tells her what's going on. We didn't know that we were like an hour from, you know, coming out of the woods. So she freaks out. And he says, you don't have to call anybody. You know, she's like, well, you want me to call the park ranger? He's like, no, you don't have to call anybody right now. We'll call you if we don't get out. So she calls the park ranger anyway. You, you tell, my, my mouth's getting tired. You tell the rest of it. Anyway, the park ranger calls us on the cell phone right after we get back on the road. And he's like, well, where are you at? And I said, um, I see a building. <laughs> Because I didn't know where I was at. She said, well, is there anything else you see? So we walked a little bit. And I said, well, I see a swimming pool. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're on the other side of the park then. I said, I don't know. But I think we can make it back to the van. She said, well, it's going to be another hour and a half. I said, why? Because she said, you're about five miles away from your van. <laughs> so I suggest that she lets the park ranger come picks us up anyway because another hour and a half of walking back to the van even though it's on solid ground on road you know uh, we're already tired of walking eight miles and the sun is setting anyway on the way back I ride in the front with a baby and Crystal and the kids ride in the back and me and the park ranger